Okay, on today's project, we're going to be installing some countertop overhang support posts. Okay, so the first thing we did is we cut our post to size and we cut it a little smaller because we want to be able to slide it underneath just like that. And we're going to glue it to the countertop and we don't want to make a mess. So we cut it just a little bit short. So that's what we did. We've already determined where we want our post to go. And what we did is we marked it with two pieces of tape. And the next thing we did is we cut a block. And we put that right there like that. That'll be our space or block. Okay, that's going to determine where our post is going to go from there and then between our two posts. So I think we're ready to go. We got the top all marked off. So we're gonna put some silicone on the top and we're gonna glue, we're gonna put glue on the countertop. We're not gonna put it on the post, we're gonna put it on the countertop and we're worried we're gonna make a big old mess. So we uh, put this tape on here, hopefully uh, it won't smear too bad. So let's do that. I want to make sure I put enough silicone on here, but I don't want to make a mess. It looks like that should be enough. Now I'm going to slide our, our post in. Obviously, it's going to make a little bit of mess, but we have our tape there, so we should be okay. So, once we have it in place, I'm going to lift the post up just to make sure and I'm going to wiggle it around just like that to make sure I got good contact. Okay, so when that dries, that'll hold that top uh, nice and steady. Now, we're also, now that we've got the top in place, we're going to put a shim on here just to kind of help hold it. Hold it right where we want it. I'm right in the center of my tape. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to fasten the bottom. Okay, we don't need to glue the bottom. We're just gonna nail it. I'm gonna nail it to the floor. And I'm gonna toe nail it. I take a drill bit, same size as the nail I'm gonna use. And I need to drill it on an angle. I need to be careful not to break or snap off the drill bit. So I'm gonna start off by going straight in, just a little bit, and then I'm gonna go on an angle. Like All right. Now these are just small four penny finish nails. Now when I, when I fasten these nails, my support block is going to keep my post from pushing in too far.
Now I'm gonna need a nail set to finish fastening these nails. You wanna make sure that that nail <clears throat> is below the surface of this. So we're gonna fill that nail hole with paint and cloth and you'll never see it. The other thing you could do is put a piece of shoe molding around the bottom, but I don't think we're gonna need to do that. So once that's in, I'm gonna take this post off of the spacer block. Now, I've already drilled these nail holes in the back here because I knew I was going to have a hard time getting the drill in. So those holes are pre-drilled. Okay, those are done. Okay, we're almost done. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna snug up this shim. Not too much. I don't wanna put any pressure on it. I just wanna make it snug. So now I'm gonna cut the shim off with my razor knife. And you wanna make sure you cut that off way back as far as you can. You don't want that shim sticking out. So score it a few times, snap it off. I would even try to maybe jam that shim in just a little bit more, just so it's below, below the surface there. So that part is done. Next thing we're gonna do is We're gonna cough this in all the way around and that is going to give us a little more strength in holding that top in place. So that's what we're gonna do. Cut my hole very small. I don't wanna make a mess with the caulk. I don't wanna to put too much, but I gotta make sure I put no. Nice steady bead on there. Well, we're going to come back and smear it with our finger. So it'll be nice and smooth. All right, so I'm gonna wet my finger a little bit. I'm gonna smear that caulk right in that crack real good. Now you wanna make sure you buy a caulk that's paintable caulk. So read the label, make sure it's paintable. And we're gonna come back and paint this a little bit later after the glue dries. 
And this caulk is going to help to hold it right in place. Give it a little more strength. And that's it. This project is all done. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for my next video. This is Ray Commons for Common Sense Projects. See you next time.